channel. For this video, I decided to record the process of my three favorite pieces from this series, with the first one being a little bit more in-depth. I wanted to show more steps and be more thorough about the process of how I do these pieces. And then the other two and the rest of the video will be a little bit less in-depth and you won't see as many steps. For this piece of artwork in particular, there was a lot of spaces for the little white dots on the mushrooms that I really wanted to keep white, and I didn't want to go through the whole hassle of drawing around them and possibly messing it up, so I ended up using some masking fluid. That's why it kind of looks weird at first, but you'll see me take it off a little bit later. As far as the process for these pieces go, it's pretty much the same as you've seen in my videos on my channel of the other pieces that I've done. I'll go in and lay down all of my color with Copic markers and then if I feel the need to, I'll go in a little bit with colored pencil just to add a little bit more texture or a little bit more shading in an area that I don't want to be too concentrated and then I'll go through the inking and then I'll usually add white highlights with a gel pen. This is the process I did for this entire series. If you guys are wondering about any of the supplies I've used in this video, I will always list them in the description box below, so please feel free to check that out if you have any questions about that. While you guys watch the process of this first piece, I want to take the time to talk about this series a little bit and what these mean to me. I really wanted to try and do something for myself. I felt like before these pieces, I was doing a lot of fan art, and despite how much I love that, I really wanted to redirect my focus and create something for me. This series is what I wanted to use to create a starting point for my career with my art. As you guys know, I've mentioned this before on my channel, I really, really want this to be something that I do for a living. I really want to live off of my art and create art as my job. This will allow me to spend as much time as possible doing art and it's just, it's something I've always really, really wanted to do and something I've always been really passionate about. I wanted to take these pieces to the next step. As I am recording this video, I am currently working on building an inventory for an online shop that I really want to launch this summer. I also hope to table at art fairs eventually this summer. Not sure if I'm going to be able to get to that, but that's also a goal of mine. An online shop and I really want to do some kind of an art fair where I can set up a table and sell merch there and connect with people in person and one-on-one -on -one as opposed to online only. Since I'm trying to build an inventory, I've recently made all of these pieces into stickers and I plan on making prints of these as well. Creating this series has really sparked inspiration and motivation in me to really work towards this goal and I've had this goal for several years so it's very very exciting for me to work towards this right now. As of right now, my shop and inventory are still in progress. Nothing has been announced or launched yet. Um, it's still in the making. So if it's something any of you guys are interested in, please feel free to look down in the description below and check out my Instagram. That is where I'm definitely the most active. I post almost everything there that I'm working on. And that is where I will announce anything of this sort first. So if that's really something you guys are interested in, please check it out. I'll leave you guys here to finish watching the rest of the video. I really, really hope you enjoy watching these come to life as much as I did making them.
are coming down to the finishing steps of this last piece here. I'll go ahead and show a close-up of all the other pieces that I didn't fit in this video. There's a total of 10 in this series. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Please feel free to subscribe if you liked this. And you can check out all my social media links in the description below. Leave a comment if you have any questions for me. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I'll also link the previous video to this, the part one where I do all the sketching at the end of the video and in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!